Hello again, fans of Nabu. Tonight, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my floppy problems, uh, but first I'm going to show you exactly how I'm pulling things off of the floppy, and I'll show you where I'm kind of going wrong, and I'll let you know how you can help. This is the uh, floppy archiving process. Um, I'm going to start with a diskette that looked interesting, because it says on a faded label, uh, Dimitron's Grog, uh, Dimitron's Depot, Grog, and Mania, which are four games. I don't think Dimitron's and Grog are in the current uh, cycle, so I'm going to take a peek at this one, and I'm going to plop that into this drive, which is the, the double-sided, double-density drive. And I'm going to use the... Uh, I have a grease weasel here that I'm using for the uh, uh, the interface. It's con connected to the floppy drive, and using USB, it's connected to my computer. And I'm using the grease weasel GUI to come up with uh, the the command line parameters that I want to put in my my window over here. So this is the uh, the GUI, and the GUI is available. Uh, uh, the grease weasel is available. The code for this is available uh, at that at GitHub there, and uh, the GUI is available there at uh, Desert Sage Solutions. Um, so I've already got the uh, command queued up in the pow in PowerShell over here. So I'm just going to press Enter and hear it wonderfully click away at gathering both sides. And 40 tracks. And um, when it's done, we're going to take a peek at it. I can get rid of the GUI right now since we're no longer using it. And we will we will load it up into HXC floppy emulator and see what it looks like. Oh, it must be single-sided, so we should change the parameters and do this again, because there's nothing on the on the second side, according to this. And now we're going to tell it to just only do the H equals, the H equals zero tells it only to do um, one side. Okay, cool. That's done. So we'll load that image again, because it should be the same. Well, it's single-sided now, so there we go. Oh, and it looks quite nice otherwise. So let's now export this thing. And since I actually know that it's a single-sided, I'm going to say single-sided single density. I installed CPM tools in WSL and here's WSL. So um, what we're going to do in that is we're going to take the previous command that I did. So I haven't imaged this before. And we made a single-sided, single-density file. And I have a NABU type of single-sided, single-density. And I'm going to see what's on this disk. What have we got here? So it looks like in user area 0, we have a main menu. Uh, the other ones are probably the aforementioned Dimatrons, Depot, Grog, and Mania, which I'm pretty certain are games that we currently don't have in anybody's cycle right now, so I'd really like to get these off. There's a ccp.com implying this, that this was a bootable disk and a cpm3.sys, both of them implying booting, and submit.com, which should run the profile.sub, which is equivalent to an autoexec.bat. Um, 
So let's take a look at that profile.sub and copy it somewhere that we can get at. Uh, so I've already queued up this command. So I'm going to copy that file out to uh, the folder Nabu Floppies Files 026 Nabu Leo SSD5S. And then I'm going to take a look at that file. And it has one thing in it that says CS, which is implies it's a cab serve that it was starting, but I don't see cab serve on this disk. That implies that this disk wasn't complete or uh, and was uh, not ready to run cab serve because um, there's no cab serve on it. Um, so let's take a look at uh, uh, with the, the the rest of the files and. See, the last time I used the minus T command, and that allowed me to copy out a text file. But now we're going to copy this all out without, um, we want everything in that folder. And we want to get rid of the minus T, which changes it to text. And actually, I don't want anything in that folder. I just want. I've seen CCP and stuff like that. We just want the pack files out of there. We'll copy it into the same folder. Now, um, so let's, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, um, now what I'd really like to do is copy these to my test folder. Um, and I'm not going to copy all of them. So let's bring up this. And we shall take, and we don't want the menu. And I'm going to copy this out to my test packs folder. And so now, so let's load up MAME and see what this is going to look like. Uh, there's our adapter, there's our emulator, uh, F3 for good measure. Make sure that there's nothing weird going on. And we're going to attempt to load Dimitrons. And we have a problem that it won't load. So let's try something else. And let's try Mania. Warning this pack at 9A is a trailing data segment, and we can't load this one either. So it looks like the process of extraction works for small files under 128 bytes, like I got the cab server and profile.sub, but it doesn't seem to work for files that are bigger. This, and this is where I'm stuck. Uh, this is where I'm stalled in this process. I've made all these floppies, and I can't accurately pull stuff off of them. Um, that makes me very sad, of course. Uh, but this is where I can actually pull in some crowd participation. What I am going to do is I'm going to put up um, some of these images for people to look at. Specifically, I'm going to put up four images, um, uh, 11, 12, 20, and 26. And the, the, the reason that I'm putting up 11 and, and, and the reason I'm putting up these ones first uh, is, uh, is because 11 and 12 contain source code on them, which is text files. If you're trying to figure out what's going on with them, then you can figure out as well. So let's just quickly review where I'm kind of stuck here. Um, uh, we have a total of 
three different think places that I could be erroring. Is it in the grease, we uh, grease weasel instruction? Maybe. Uh, it, I mean, the images look good, and they look good in the floppy emulator. But in the floppy emulator, I then copy them to image files. I think that is where the problem is. The third place that this could be a problem is in CPM tools. I built my own uh, disk defs file, and I will show that to you. So the to the disk defs that I had in the main package that I got in the main package. I've also added four definitions based on my analysis of the floppies uh, that I got from the HXC floppy emulator. Um, and they're, they all start with NABU. They're right at the bottom of this file. NABU DS double-sided single density five sectors. Single-sided single, -sided, single de density five sectors, which I showed. Double-sided double density ten sectors, which is one I found. And double-sided double density five sectors. Uh, those are w what I've kind of figured out, but I think that they're wrong. <laughs> so either they're wrong, uh, or I need to, to, to know a little bit more about uh, how I'm, uh, the, the images that I'm producing. So I'm going to put this file, this defs, in the repo, uh, https github.com, leo binkowski slash nabu slash cpm tools slash disk defs, and underneath uh, also, uh, uh, as you can see here, I've got links for uh, the four SCP files that are vexing me for the moment. Uh, I'd really like 12 and 13 to be dealt with because they're the NABU filer and they have text files on them. They're actual source in C. 20, I'm not sure about. <laughs> and 26 is what we've just been discussing in this particular um, uh, demo of how I'm doing the floppy process. So you, everybody can take a peek at those. If you manage to figure out 26 and get usable uh, executables off, please put them in the comments because those are files that so far aren't in any cycle. Um, and it would be really nice to add them to it, so I really want to talk to you. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, I, I hope everybody has fun with this stuff. I can tell you right now, I didn't. So uh, as long as somebody more knowledgeable does have some fun, uh, my work is 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 rewarding. So uh, see you later and have fun with this. Talk to you later.